Yep, so let's talk about uh, domain choosing. So while when you're choosing a domain, there are two things that you need to remember. Number one is known as the phone test. That is what you do is you call up some of your friends and tell your domain name and um, cross check after one day if they can remember the domain name that passes the test. Say for example, if you choose a very big name, say why did the chicken cross the road dot com? It may be so interesting that they still remember the name after one or two days. And uh, one of the domain names that I choose was my ICPF. So the people who are aware of ICPF, they could easily remember my ICPF. Even when I'm talking for just one minute, they can remember it. And I, I can just ask them after one week, two weeks, one month, they can still remember it like my ICPF.com. So that passes the uh, test where they can hear and remember it. The second one is known as the billboard test. In the billboard test, what you do is you put an advertisement and let somebody drive the car for five minutes not five minutes just 30 seconds and see whether they can see the domain name and remember the domain name or not that is basically the readability of the domain name so the hearing and remembering and the other one is the readability so the two tests that a domain name need to pass is the first one is the phone test and the second one is the billboard test and the billboard test just put the advertisement somewhere and let somebody drive there for 30 seconds and while they're passing by they should be able to read it and when they go back home they should be able to type your domain name and see it working you know so that two things if both the things are working fine don't worry about anything else whether it's big small nothing as in uh, when people can remember why did the chicken cross the road dot com it's it's long domain names works as good as any other domain name so try to avoid the hyphens because uh, in phone tests it's very difficult to tell them that put hyphen here don't put hyphen there and so and so try to avoid the numbers like one because when you call somebody and you say one they are confused whether to write numeric or one one so like still the numbers work well in readability concept but phone test may be a little too difficult to remember so these are the things that you need to take care of while choosing a domain name that's it phase number one phase number two we'll see you tomorrow